Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellie Pop's Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I kind of prepare to make um, an inspired by bow. So I've been asked to do a princess, a pink princess bow. So what I have done is I have got a uh, piece of paper written down what sort of colours I'm going to need for this. And then, excuse my really poor drawing, I'm better at making bows than I am drawing but I sketch out uh, what the bow needs to look like. So in this case, I've determined that I will need some dark pink, a lighter shade of pink, white for the trim and a crown. Um, then I've sort of very poorly drawn this bow. Um, we're gonna do a dark pink tail with a lighter pink, bigger loop and a dark pink top loop. It's gonna have some white trim along the top edges and then we're gonna pop a crown on it. So after I've determined what that needs to look like, and then go to my fabric drawers and have a look through my stash and what I've got. So uh, we want a bit of glitter in here. So I found this piece of fine uh, pink glitter, you can see there. I've also found this white satin, which would be perfect for the trim and I don't very often use leatherette because it doesn't stick very well, but this is gonna be a middle part of the bow. So I'm quite confident that'll be fine. So I've got this lighter shade of pink leatherette. I've also got these crown embellishments, which I got from AliExpress. It was about 50 pence for a bag full. And I'm going to pop one of these crowns. It's just a little felt crown embellishment. I'm going to be using that and popping it onto the finished bow. So I'm going to be using my four and a half inch template. You can make this in whichever template you prefer. So like I say, this one's going to be the middle. So we're going to draw around the middle template on this lighter pink leatherette haven't made one of these before so this is me going through um, with you what I would do when I'm looking at creating a new bow so obviously I've only got um, a thin strip of this I haven't got a full sheet so I need to make sure that my two templates will fit yep they'll fit nicely on there so I'm gonna use this lighter pink uh, dark pink sorry glitter for the tails. So I'm going to draw around the tail. And I'm also going to use it for the top loop. So I'm going to draw around that one. And I will also use this as a center for the bow too. So I'll not throw the scraps away. I'll keep piece there. So what I'm going to do is put these pieces out. Get rid of that excess. Now the white, I'm only going to need a small bit of trim. I'm not going to cut it until the bow's ready because I'm not sure on size or shape yet. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut these out and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so all the parts are cut out now. What I'm going to do is stick them together and then I'm going to figure out how I am going to use the white satin to make um, sort of the neck, the collar of the dress. So this leather's quite good on the inside. It is sort of felt, sort of furry fabric. So the glue sticks quite well, but on this surface where I'm gonna stick things to it, it's a little shiny, but because it's sandwiched in between the layers, I'm quite confident that it will uh, stick together quite well. The other layers will help it stick. So like I say, this is how I um, 
make a new bow, a new design. This is what I usually do before I film it. I thought I'd give you guys a sort of an insight into how I design and imagine bows. I research a lot on Google as well, images of the subject that I'm actually creating. And don't necessarily look at other people's bows and what they've created. I'll look at the subject themselves and uh, get an idea in my head. Always put it down on paper. So the idea isn't forgotten about. You could sort of imagine it. See now that glue's not stuck to the leather. This is why I don't like using leather. Faux leatherette, faux leather. Doesn't stick very well. I may have to stick that top layer on after. I'll try and get it to secure a little bit now. I'm going to use a 65mm alligator clip for the back of this bow. Might as well put that on now. The only extra parts I'm going to be doing are the crown and the collar. So just to help secure that middle or the top layer, because it is going to keep falling off there because it won't stick to the leather. Um, I'm going to pop the middle part around so it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to get a piece of this scrap, roughly a centimetre wide. You can measure it, but when you make them all day long, you sort of visualise what size it needs to be. Some templates do come with a centre strip, so you know exactly how big to make it. This template did not. Bought it a fair few years ago. It's a good thing about these templates too. I use them with various different pens and I just use a baby wipe. You can use a, a dishcloth and some soap um, just to give them a wipe down. Sometimes it gets on your fingers or the pen. Just give them a wipe down, they're as good as new. I've had those ones for years. So I'm just gonna stick this middle on and that will hold all those layers together. So I don't have to worry about that top one falling off. So let's look at doing a collar. So I'm going to put the collar along this bit here. So I'm going to cut a piece of this uh, satin or silk fabric. I'm going to put it in there. Now this particular princess, it needs to be wider at this end, so it's gonna go up like this and going thinner at the bottom. So while it's attached, I'm going to just cut a shape. It's roughly that size. That's going to stick inside that layer it a little bit big but it's better to be big than small okay all right what I'm actually going to do while that's on there Make sure it's stuck in there. In fact, I'm going to glue it on. We'll cut it as we go. So I'm putting glue on the right side of the fabric because it's going to stick inside of the bow like that. And I should have made a, in fact, I'm going to peel that off. This sometimes happens. When I'm creating, I need to make two of these, so and it needs to be the opposite. So let's put it on there, draw around it. Well, 
Always left with little scrap bits everywhere. Don't worry. Let's cut this little bit out. Again, if you've watched my tip on hand cutting, always cut inside the line to avoid having any pen on the fabric. So in theory, I should have two mirrored pieces that will fit inside the bow. So again, I'm going to glue that on. Glue it to the inside of that middle loop. Now I'm happy with the shape of this, but it needs to taper down into the shape. That might look all right actually. We'll have to see how the other side glues on. So let's glue the other side on. See, I don't use templates for all these extra bits. It all comes out of my imagination. So sometimes it can be a bit hit and miss. But this is how creations are made. And I want that to stick in there, but I don't want to see the glue. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I mean, that looks all right to me. But they're touching in the middle, which I don't like. So, what I might just do is get the scissors and trim this so it goes down into the shape. That looks better. Okay. So now I've got to do that again on the other side. <clears throat> So from about there, that looks about right. So that would be her collar. And then the crown, we just need to figure out where we're going to put the crown. Will it look good in the middle? Does it look better on the edge? I think it looks better on the edge. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that bit there. And I'm going to stick it to the glitter layer because nothing sticks to the leatherette layer. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look and see if I've got some of the frilly ribbon that I used on my Mary Poppins bows. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I don't have any of the ribbon left that I use on my Mary Poppins bows, but I have found this white lace ribbon. Just a ribbon edge trim, which I have. Always good to buy things like this, just in case, even if you think you're not gonna use it, it might come in handy for one of your designs. So, at the bottom of this certain princess's dress, she has ruffles under her skirt. So on the bottom edge of this, I'm gonna pop some of this lace. So I'm gonna cut a piece off, which is roughly the right size. I'm gonna fold it in half to double it up. And this might not work glue wise, but we're gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna glue that inside there for the ruffles under the skirt. Okay, it might be a bit tricky. I might need to just glue. It's hard because it's lace. I'm gonna just glue a little bit watch your fingers if you are doing this because this is one of those times where you burn yourself obviously it's lace so the glue will come through the holes there we go 
could use a fabric glue to do that but obviously this glue is quicker so that is gonna go inside there like that for the ruffles at the bottom of a dress which looks great so again put some glue on the edge of that lace and then put it in the inside of that middle layer now if I was to make this bow again I would pre-glue these before I put the loops together before I make the bow as I didn't know how exactly this design was going to go I've done it afterwards and that's the thing with designing new designs you don't know how it's going to go until you actually go for it so the glue dried there as I was trying to put it together so I'm just going to put some more in there as you can see the glue does seep through the lace so I've got it on my finger but it's not too hot we're good haven't burnt myself properly and there we go just going to trim that side so it looks a little bit neater and then we need to just do the same on the other side and this bow is complete and I think that looks pretty good. So I've got one, two, three, four scallops. One, two, three, four. So again, we're gonna scarcely glue it down the middle to fold it in half. Quite glad I kept this ribbon actually come in handy definitely again this ribbon I think I got from Aliexpress must have been about pound for about five meters five yards maybe even ten yards on that roll and again we are going to just make sure it's the right fit And glue it in place Like I say, if I was going to make this bow again, I would put these pieces on before I make the bow next time. Just make sure they are stuck down securely. And they feel like they are. Make sure those corner pieces are nice and even I just like to round those bits off just so it makes it a little bit neater <laughs> <clears throat> and there we go princess inspired bow from scratch never made one before the very first one I've done live on camera for you guys what do you think to it so this is what it looks like from the back always try and keep them neat now from sight I think this side just needs this bit cutting down a little bit more 
I might need to get my sharper ribbon scissors on this. Let me see. So there we have it. I think that's finished. Quite like how that looks now. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to symmetry. That bit there, right in the corner, is just a little bit wider when you look at it from the back. That's better. Okay, so there we have it, princess inspired bow, made from scratch, from the original drawing, literally taking the length of this video to create this, there we go, let me know what you think to it. I'd like to tell you about my Facebook group, Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube. Uh, on there we've got a group of um, quite a few subscribers from the channel and from elsewhere. We all like to share our ideas, ask for new tutorials, tips, tricks, anything like that. Uh, there are some supplier links in there, things like that to help you out. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, leave a comment, uh, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, whichever you want to. Um, let me know what you think. And it all helps to support the channel. Even a thumbs down supports the channel, but obviously I would like those thumbs up if you like the video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Turn your channel notifications on if you want to be notified uh, next time I upload a new video. I have lots of Christmas ones coming up and I hope to see you on the next ones. Thanks for watching, bye.